Okay, so this is uh, the PDF document I produced on the X dimensions, as you can see, or understanding the dimensions. There's a couple of videos as well, um, but this is one that's going to be printed out. You can put it in your portfolios. You can take it away. You can read if you if you haven't got access to the internet on my videos. Uh, either way, hopefully it will be of some interest to you. So let's just read through it together, understanding the X dimensions. Uh, I think this bit's pretty self-explanatory. You can read through. So essentially. This is the, the drawing is the better bit to focus on. So you can pause it there and read through that. But let's just look at this here. The X dimension, or sometimes I call it the X factor, is the distance between where the pipe finishes in the fitting. So we're not going to calculate this bit. We don't need to because it's already gone in the fitting. So it's where it ends to the center of that fitting. And this little perforated gray line here, you can see, if you can imagine a pipe going below we would need to calculate this. So point one is represents the pipe when fully engaged, so completely fitted. Point two is the distance from where the pipe finishes in the fitting to the center of that fitting itself. I've done the short videos um, about this particular task here. And as you can see, we've got two elbows, two 90 degree bends placed at either end of the pipe. And the measurement between center line to center line, so center line to center line, is 200 millimeters. Now, as we've said, there is a distance between where the pipe finishes, let's just zoom in there, here, to where the center line of the fitting itself is. And this here is known as the X dimension, or as I sometimes say, the X factor. And in this case, it's nine millimeters. So the mathematics are, to get the actual pipe length cut correctly at the beginning, you would have to know the X factor of each end. So the center line to center line is 200 mil minus the 18, and the 18 is a total of 19, nine plus nine equals 18. One deducted from the other gives us a number of 182 millimeters. And therefore you would cut that piece of pipe at that distance. Doesn't sound an awful lot, 18 mil, okay. But it is if you keep, if you was to continue doing loads and loads and loads of work, loads of frames for a particular size house, etc. So what I've actually put as a little footnote here, as you can see at the bottom, please note, you need to measure the distance first to calculate. Different manufacturers have different X dimensions. Now, in the workshop lately, we've been using a different fitting that has a dimension of 7.5 millimeter, which as I said to you correctly, is very simple because it's the radius of the diameter of the 15 mil pipe you would be using. This particular type of fitting I bought home today is actually 9mm. Now watch my videos uh, either before or after just to, to uh, show you how I've actually calculated that measurement correctly. Now this will be printed off for you in class and I want you to actually try and answer this little task that I've got here. And as you can see I've actually done a small diagram that's got some measurements on there and what I want you to do is to complete this uh, little table here uh, telling me at the end of it how much pipe we're going to require for that particular task. Here's a little stretchy question for you. What if we had pipe clips? Would it make a difference to the overall pipe required? I'll let you think about that one. Thanks for viewing. Okay, good morning. This is another tech, tech a tutorial I should start off with saying. Um, this one today is going to focus on what we call the X dimension. Now, if we got a piece of copper pipe here, and as you can see, this one here, the one on the top, is longer by a considerable amount. In this case, only looks about 20 mil, but 20 mil, if you're going to make probably, you know, say a thousand frames, you're going to have an awful lot of waste at the end of the day. So what we're looking to do today is explain to you what an X factor is or an X dimension. Now, if I place an elbow over the end here, let's just use my pen as a a pointer you can see the pipe as engaged up to this point so that's already inside the fitting so we cannot we don't have to worry about that and what we're trying to do is calculate from let's put that over there from center line here to center line here what would that distance be so if we've got a center to center measurement of say 200 millimeters we know that if we want to cut the pipe, it should be smaller than 200 mil because as you can see here, the pipe finishes at this point here, does not go all the way to the center line. 
So this between here and our center of the fitting is known as the X dimension. And we would have to reduce that off of either end. So some terminology now, if we've got center line to center line, in a second you'll see what that symbol means. If we take a fitting off, we've got end to center line. Because not always, the pipe doesn't always start with a fitting. Okay, so if we were to measure between where it finishes inside here to this center line, you'd have to do a check on all the fittings that you're looking at. But it's a, it's very very simple. If you've got one elbow or one T, and you're going to do all of your jobs with that particular type of fitting, then you only have to measure it once. Well, in this situation, sometimes it's actually just going to be the radius of the pipe. So we've got 15 mil diameter, and 15 mil is from here edge to edge through the center and the radius is from the center to the edge so it's half the diameter effectively normally they would be 7.5 would this be this case on the x, x dimension but in this particular type of fitting it's actually nine millimeters so if we've got a center to center let's put the other fitting back on if we've got a center to center of 200 millimeters and there's nine mil in this one and nine mil in this one nine plus nine is 18 so 200 minus 18 gives us 182 millimeters. And what we're gonna use now is these three letters, APL. APL stands for actual pipe length. So the actual pipe length required for a task when it's center to center is 200 mil would be 182 because we're gonna reduce the amount of the X dimension from each end. Okay, so now what I've just said to you on the previous video is to, if you need to work out what the fittings, uh, the X factor is of the fitting. So we're looking from there's our center line to the pipe finishes here. So the pipe finishes here, and this is our center fitting, center of our fitting. A very simple way to do this is just to mark, so literally to mark where the pipe finishes in the side fitting. So I've got a little mark there. Lay it over a drawing that I've made here. Now this is all a bit long-winded, but you know, one or two mil isn't going to make a huge difference. And now I can see where the where the if I offer that over to the side, bring this fitting down a little bit. So I mean, still on the center lines. I'll show you what I'm doing in a second. Now I can see. Let's just move that around here so you can see it a little bit better. There is my center line of the pipe that's going down down here. There is my center line of the one that's coming across where the pipe is. And this little mark, if I bring it to the edge, I can just bring it, let's see it this way so you can see. There is, there's the fitting. That would be the amount it finishes inside the fitting. You can see the pen mark I've got there. I'm gonna mark the end of the pipe here. So that's where the end of the pipe would finish. That's the center of the fitting. So this is our X dimension. And in this case now we could get our tape measure and literally measure it and we can see that is bang on 9 mil. Let's just move this little mass out if I can just zoom this down a little bit. And then move that a little bit there. Let's just move that to square. And there it is, bang on 9 millimeters. So we now know the X factor here was nine mil. I know, I know I'm upside down, I shall turn it around in a second. Okay, so that's how easy it is to calculate and work out what the X factor is itself.